Okay, Chris, breaking news overnight. The U.S. providing help for Kurdish fighters in the Syrian city of Kobani. Weapons, ammunition, and medical supplies were airdropped to fighters trying to push back ISIS terrorists who want to claim that city. This after coalition airstrikes continued through the weekend. CNN's senior international correspondent Nick Payton Walsh is live on the Turkey-Syria border with more. Nick. What we are hearing uh, from Kurdish fighters inside the town is that those airdrops last night, three American C-130s dropping 27 separate bundles of ammunition, medical supplies and food, actually delivered uh, some M16 rifles, uh, according to that fighter who said the aid is going to assist, but they're going to need more. A stark move by the United States to use its power aircraft to take this aid from Iraqi Peshmergas, in fact, in Iraq and drop it off to the Syrian Kurds, their brothers fighting uh, here and that of course bolstered as well by some news we're hearing too that Turkey who frankly sees the Kurds fighting here is far from their friend in fact terrorists in some eyes have in fact allowed Peshmerga more Kurdish fighters through their territory to enter that city of Kobani and assist the fight for it so a lot happening this morning a lot that the United States has decided to do to bolster the Kurds who've been optimistic after 135 airstrikes in the past weeks and Barack Obama talking to his Turkish counterpart talking about the need for the airdrop and presumably exchanging differing opinions about how much aid the Kurds in the city behind me should get but they do seem to be holding their ground back to you there you go that's good news uh, Nick Payton Walsh thanks so much for the update live